I was like, shoot, if the flag was not on fire, please tell me when it was gonna be because it don't get no more red than that. The flag is in Hades. The flag is so red, it is in Hades burning in the lake of fire right now. What to watch Wednesday? What to watch Wednesday? I need a new show to watch today. A movie, a show, I don't need a What to watch Wednesday? What to watch Wednesday? Yeah. Hi queens, hi kings, what is up everybody? It is your girl Mia Lachey. Welcome back to my Chanel. This is What to Watch Wednesday. I am super excited for this video. If you are just now finding out about my existence, allow me to introduce myself. Hi, my name is Mia. I'm your new fave and you just don't know it yet, but stick around and uh, you gonna find out today, okay? <laughs> All right, you guys, I am super excited about today's What to Watch Wednesday simply because it is on the show Tender Swindler. Now, if you have not seen Tender Swindler on Netflix, please stop this video and go watch it. Or if you are wondering if you should even watch the video or watch the, you know, Netflix series Tender Swindler, watch this, but there will be some spoilers. Sorry. Sorry. Now. I'm just gonna say that this whole video is gonna cause your girl to um have a drink or two <clears throat> because it is wild it is wild first for all of you who don't know what the tender swindler is it is a Netflix docuseries about this man named Simon Levive he claims to be a uh, businessman uh, he's the son of a billionaire um, who is a diamond tycoon. That's how this story takes place. So, um, long story short, Simon Levibe is with uh, three women. I'm going to break these women down by saying girl A, girl B, and girl C. Because I'm not going to say all of their names. I will say their name one time and then after that they're just A, B, and C because it's just too much. It's too much and... I don't care. I don't quite care. So, with that being said, girl A's name is Cecile, um, or Cecily is one of the two. Girl B's name is Pernilla. I really like that name. I don't know why. It just sounds bougie. And girl C is Eileen, okay? Okay. So, walk with me here. <clears throat> this man, Simon Levive, got with all three of these women and conned them out of all of their money i'm talking they had not a cent left to their name and in debt up to the ceiling you know how beyonce says like she can't even see the ceiling okay well their debt was on the ceiling that beyonce couldn't see like it's just a lot it's a lot this dude oh he was a player not only was he a player but um he played it pretty well mm-hmm all right, so let me give you the overview. He will go on Tinder and he'll have all of his pictures and everything laid out so you know like this dude got it going on. He's rich. He's got money. He's got a private jet. Automatically, when you see somebody with a private jet, you know, nowadays you don't even think like, mm, that's fake. No, most times you're like, oh, wow, he's got a private jet. Must be real. Must be real, you know. So private jet, um, you know, he shows that he's traveled around the world, stuff like that, stuff to make him seem kind of legitimate, you know. So he was playing the game well, and that's how he attracted the girls that he attracted off of Tenda. The first girl he attracts was Cecile. He attracts her by love bombing the everlasting heck out of this girl, okay? Uh, she fell for him over a big old bouquet of roses because apparently nobody's ever given her a big old bouquet of roses like that before. Now, granted, it was a nice bouquet of roses. I'm not gonna sit here and be like, mm, Ingles could have done it. But I, I mean, it, I could see where she was like, oh my goodness, like, you know, but even in the show, okay, she does say that she feels like 
she has met her prince okay so automatically she has in her head that this guy is her prince charming like that is what she has in her head that this is her prince charming and he's rich and he's gonna sweep her off her poor little feet and take her away and save the day as a billionaire that is her thinking and she even tells you that she tells you that she was like mm, disney ruined me <laughs> you know the tiktok where it's like i'm mad at disney disney they tricked me tricked me had me wishing on the shoes Okay, that was, that's the steal. When they met on Tinder, he immediately asked her on a coffee date. Okay, now y'all are probably thinking, okay, well that's cool. Like he revealed himself. He automatically revealed himself to let her know he was a real person. Exactly. Exactly. He'd done it to let her know that he was a real person. But guys, this was not just any coffee date. He invited her to the Four Seasons the four seasons are you understanding what i'm saying here so she goes to the coffee date at the four seasons and like they get along and everything like of course they get along why wouldn't they get along he's rich and that's what she wants and like she's a sucker and that's what he wants and then he's like ah you know i'm so busy i gotta go i gotta actually head out on my private jet tomorrow for some business or it was actually that night i gotta head out on my private jet for tonight for some business would you like to come with me the first day that she met him he asked her if she wanted to go on his private jet with him now look i'm all for being swooned and everything like that but the first day i don't even know you why would i get on a jet with you you know i don't know i don't know just me just me she even told her friends and they were like girl I don't I don't think that's really safe and one of her friends you know you always have that one one of her friends was like I mean yellow yellow <laughs> it's like yeah you only live once if you get to live <laughs> that's why I just couldn't understand that but there really is always that one friend so I didn't really contest to it too much if this wasn't a red flag I don't I don't know what is on their first date which was that night on the private jet um his baby mama was on that private jet now I'm gonna get into her a little bit later but his baby mama was on the private jet with the baby on their first date and I'm just like you know what <laughs> couldn't be me couldn't be me when she gets a private moment with her she's like you know trying to find out all about him and she's like oh he's just really good and I'm just so happy that like he can take care of me and the baby and like he's not stingy with his money you know stuff like that and I don't know just something like that and she fell for it she fell for it she was like okay cool this is a solid dude like it was a little weird at first but you know what? I'm cool with this if the flag wasn't on fire at that point I don't know when the flag could could be but I digress oh before I even get into the whole trip I just want to say she was also swooned by the fact that when he invited her to his private jet he actually had her um, escorted back to her house from the hotel in a Rolls Royce like an older Rolls Royce Rolls Royce um to get her clothes and then like packed away and then like escorted back to the jet okay that's all I wanted to say anyway that night he actually flees to handle some business that he doesn't tell her about he's just like I got some business to take care of and I'll see you well he actually comes back and they get intimate on their first night together I'm like girl it takes a private jet to make you give it up like that okay <laughs> okay and so yeah she ends up getting with him and then she sees like a scar on his back and he's like yeah I have enemies with what I do um I just don't even want to talk about it and they left that conversation at that flag on 
fire but whatever after about a month of dating he's like yo boo let's make it official and I want you to be my girl and nobody else's and she was like of course and he's like okay and now that you're my girlfriend <laughs> I just want to let you know that what I do for a line of work because you're my girlfriend and we don't have secrets. I work in the diamond industry and I have a lot of dangerous people after me because of what I do because they want my money and they want my spot and she was like oh no like I mean yeah I don't damsel full on damsel in distress full on damsel in distress but he's like yeah and uh, you've got nothing to worry about, but now that you know it, I just wanted you to know it. And okay, bye. That was literally the whole conversation after he asked her to be um, his <laughs> girlfriend. So that was funny. <laughs> a few weeks after he asked her to be his girlfriend, he sends her a video. And the video is a video of his bodyguard Peter's head bashed in with blood gushing down and she's like oh my god what is going on you know like she's concerned her man her man is in trouble and he's like my enemies my enemies are after me and Peter this is the part that gets me oh my god he goes yeah thank god Peter was there to take all the hits because I could have died I'm like so just screw Peter huh <laughs> thank god Peter took the hits what <laughs> poor Peter <laughs> I hope he was getting paid accordingly he uses that video to pretty much be like I need to protect myself and I can't use my money right now so I need you to get me some money because I can't leave a trail or my enemies will come after me and she's like okay how much do you need and he was like 25,000 and she was like um hmm <laughs> Where am I going to get 25000 Now, mind you, when I was first watching this myself, I was thinking these girls were giving money that they had. I was like, okay, they're rich. And they're like, you know what? My boyfriend needs 25000 Boop, here you go. Like, you know, at their own discretion. At their own discretion. But it wasn't. It wasn't. Because when I tell y'all, girl A went to go get a loan for $25,000. It ain't even a joke at this point. Mm -mm. And she had to get it in cash because that's how he wanted it. And he, she went to go take it to him. And she went ahead and gave him the money and called it a day. Well, okay, in her head, she's thinking 25000 is all that she's going to have to give him. Nope. Nope. Some time goes on, and I don't even mean a few weeks. Time goes on, and he's like, hey, um, I'm needing more money. And she's like, need more money for what? Like, I just gave you $25,000. Like, what do you need? What more do you want from me? <laughs> oh, my God. And mind you, every time he asks this girl for money, he always tells her he is going to pay her back. That's what he tells her, that he's going to pay her back. Okay, I just need you to keep that part in mind. She's like, um, okay, what do you need? And he's like, I need you to get a credit card and I need you to put it in your name because it can't be in my name. My enemies will come after me. Boy, if you don't go on with that, I could care less about them enemies at this point. <laughs> I could care less about them enemies. Talking about get a credit card and put it in your name. My enemies gonna track me. Let them track you. Let them track you. At this point, after giving you 25 grand in cash and you used all of that so very soon and now you're coming to me for more money with a credit card in my name. Oh no. No. No, at this point, I'm about to put you in a box with a bow on it and give you to your own enemies. Serve you right on up on a platter. Because no because no you gotta get into some things before i move on to girl b and girl c this will be rather quick but girl a i get a kick out of girl a i'm not even gonna lie to you she actually did get that credit card with her name in it but let me tell you how he got her to do it this is not even a month later he wanted her to move in with him and that she needed to go apartment hunting 
and that he'll pay for y'all. When I tell you he wasn't even there to haunt apartments with her, she was literally FaceTiming him, showing the apartment with her phone. Like, look, babe. Oh my God, I like this one. It's like 30 grand a month, but like, oh my God, you like? Absolutely not. If you are a billionaire and you are my boyfriend and we're going apartment hunting, you must believe you're the one coming with me and you're the one putting your name on the dotted line and I'm gonna have me an apartment to the side that I can afford under my own coin in case stuff goes south with you. Because what if I'm left with a $30,000 apartment rent bill every month? No, couldn't, wouldn't, wouldn't be me. Ain't no way I'm apartment hunting by myself and you sitting there, oh, look babe, oh my goodness. And then he's talking, yeah, the babe, it says that one's going to be $15,000 a month. You want it? Um, sir, do you want it? Because you asked me to move in with you, as in you paying, as in your name on the dotted line, as in your presence. I'm sorry, I would never go apartment hunting with nobody and be FaceTiming them. No, no, absolutely not. We need to come to a day where we can go together. Now, mind you, he's asked girl A for all of this money. That is simply because he is with girl B. Long story short, girl B, Pernilla, girl B is actually um, really, really, really beautiful. I mean, all the girls are beautiful, but girl B is, is very beautiful. But she's also independent, and I find that important to add because a lot of people are like, oh, they were just going after his money. Girl B was independent, and let me tell you something. When he went on a date with girl B... She did not like him like that. And so in my head, when I found out, you know, she didn't like him like that, I'm like, okay, then it's over. Like, there's no swindling, right? <laughs> uh, mm -mm. No. The way he played this was kind of genius. I'm not going to lie. Not going to lie. When they went on their date, obviously she didn't like him like that. But he actually did end up telling her, like, you know, what he does for work which is he works in the diamond industry like llc diamonds this is what i love about pernilla immediately after he said she worked in the diamond industry like that was supposed to woo her right pernilla said I'm I'm a a so pretty much pretty much because pernilla goes oh boy another diamond boy and i'm like oh my god you got it like that you got it like that? So where are you dating these diamond dudes and you just like, I'm over it? Oh my God, can I be in your shoes? I mean, not just swindling shoes, not those shoes, but the other shoes where you was with a legitimate one before to the point to where you're like, hey, yeah, I've been there, done that, don't want that. Like, can we switch places? Pernilla. Ah, girl B. So after their date, she was like, mm, don't really like you like that. Let's be friends. He was like, mm, okay, cool. They end up going to a diamond factory and whatever. Mm, they called it a night. They ended up hanging out. I want to say maybe like a little, a few weeks later after their date. And he was already dating someone else. He was dating a Russian model. Mm. And my personal opinion felt like he was like flaunting the relationship in the face, but on the other half of me is like was he flaunting the relationship or was were they a throuple J just saying because from what i found out from girl b is they was going around the world in 80 days together for four months for the entire summer and mind you it's being funded the whole time by girl a that's that's the part that kills me but with the russian model and you gonna tell me they weren't menage a, menage a trois. There wasn't no menage a trois. There wasn't none of that. I find it hard to believe, but whatever. Even though he had already thrown girl A into debt, he was throwing her into more debt by the way he whined and dined girl B and his Russian supermodel girlfriend, okay? He told girl A that if 
that he needed more money off of the credit card and she was like they're not gonna let me up my limit and she mind you she doesn't know she doesn't know at all what he's using this money for like he's just telling her it's business and that he needs it she's sitting there going well they're not gonna let me this is american express we're talking about they're not gonna let me you know up my credit limit until they see some of this get paid off and until like you know they see that i have the income for it he's like okay you know what i can do let me go ahead and get you a job Look at these finger quotes here. Let me go ahead and get you a job at my job. Let me hire you at my job at LLC Diamonds and show them that you make $95,000 a month. Sure. <laughs> No, because I need to know what American Express was thinking. Because you didn't think it was a little suspect that somebody making over a hundred grand a month. A month. At that point, you don't need a credit card company. So why would the credit card company be like, oh yeah, they got it, let's go work. No, because isn't the whole point of a credit card company because they know you can't pay, so they want you to go in debt so they can get more money off of you? I don't know. I have to look a little bit at American Express and be like, hmm. 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 Mm -hmm. Oh, God. Long story short, American Express upped that credit limit up. Upped it. I want to say up to 20 either 25 grand or 250 grand it was a lot it was a lot her credit limit went sky high and he maxed it out and she was like okay babe like haha <laughs> you know I'm glad like you know your enemies aren't killing you or whatever but um I'm gonna need you to come through <laughs> when you said you was gonna pay some of this off because I'm in debt and I'm not the billionaire you are and he was like okay 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 I will pay it don't you worry about it i'll give you a check i want to say first he tried to wire money and that didn't work uh because the banks were on her neck the banks the banks <laughs> were shaking her down like pimps the banks were like where is my money the banks was pulling a whole rihanna bitch you better have my money like i don't think y'all understand they meet up like a month later in person so he can give her the check she said the conversation grew cold and everything when she would ask him to pay stuff off and like girl when i tell you they get into the apartment together and he's in there and um she said he wouldn't look at her he was not engaged in conversation and um on top of all of that he literally just like it was completely transactional he threw a check on there and was like there that should go through and like they went to bed no kisses nothing nothing he brought nothing next morning he left no goodbyes nothing he just left I was like shoot if the flag was not on fire please tell me when it was gonna be because it don't get no more red than that. The flag is in Hades. The flag is so red, it is in Hades burning in the lake of fire right now. <laughs> After the four months he spent with girl B and his Russian supermodel girlfriend. I don't know why, I just feel like it's super important to like reiterate Russian supermodel girlfriend. He hits up girl B and he's like, hey, I need some money. My enemies are after me, you know, sending the same fake picture as he sent girl A, uh, which is his bodyguard head gushing and everything. I just need it. I'll pay you right back. You know I got it. You know I'm good for it. You know I'm good for it. I'm a billionaire. And she was like, yeah, I mean, that's true. Yeah, you are good for it. Yeah, you'll pay me back. So she ends up taking out 
her life savings. Four, okay, an apartment that she was going to get herself to move out of her mom's place. 30000 And you already know what happened. He took it, used it, abused it, and never paid it back. And then girl B was like, hey, I need some money. These, these card companies, they are you know this credit union they're on me and uh, they need their money back and i can't pay this like i'm i'm struggling here and he was like i will get you your money da, 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 you know whatever rewind back to girl a she's completely cut off contact with him after the whole ordeal because the check that he gave her bounced the check was no good and it bounced, okay? I feel like that's super important to reiterate. The check bounced, which I think he gave her $50,000, which was exactly what she owed and it bounced. And she was like, oh my God, okay. Like, uh, I'm getting worried now because the check done bounced. Same thing happened with girl B. He ends up giving her money um, and the check bounces and she's like, I'm going to need you to do something else because this check is bouncing and it ain't making no sense that it's bouncing. Long story short, girl A has American Express on her ass. Like, they're legitimately on her ass. And she's like, okay, I just came clean and told them everything. And she did. And they were like, okay, ma'am, so I'm going to be honest with you. You just got conned by, like, one of the world's greatest con artists. His name is Simon Levive, and he actually lives over in Saudi Arabia. It was Saudi Arabia. Uh, Tel Aviv he actually is from Israel and they like tell her his actual name they're like yeah and he just does this to women yeah that's that's him we know him and you just got conned by him and there's nothing we can do I'm so sorry and she was like what you mean like there's nothing you can do you know <sighs> yeah it's just it's uh, I find it hilarious so she ends up finding out that she's gotten got and what does she do? Homegirl goes to the police and the police are like, there ain't nothing we can do. You gave him your money and everything like that. What can we do? We can't do nothing. You gave him access to your money. You, he said he was going to pay you back. You took his word for it. There ain't nothing we can do. She was like, ah, you know, she was freaking out. So then she decides like, I can't let him get away with this. I can't let him do this to another girl. And so she ends up going to like the biggest media company in Germany, I think it was. She's like, hey, this is what's going on and I'm going to put y'all on game. This is what's happening to me and my life is ruined. And they were like, mm, if the story checks out, this is cash and we might can help you, but we need to see if the story checks out. So they end up going to get a journalist who speaks Hebrew and <clears throat> he ends up going over to Israel and they find out his real address which is like his mom's address and his mom was like I stopped I completely stopped talking to my kid when he started being crazy and they were like what so yeah the mom was like don't come here no more either because he ain't welcome here and y'all ain't either so they leave or whatever and they find out what they need to find out so they come back and they end up doing the story and everything like that and then as they're doing their little journalism thing they find out that girl b was involved with him and girl b <clears throat> they get her contact information and they're like hey um we know that you've been in contact with this person and he might be conning you you want to meet up you want to talk and girl b was like yeah i want to talk because that's insane and you know what it kind of makes sense now so they actually end up meeting up with girl b and they're like okay we need to catch him when can you see him and she was like actually i'm headed out on a jet tomorrow to go see him i'm flying out to go see him so i can get a watch from him so he can pay my debt because he can't afford it but he's gonna give me one of his watches so they're like okay cool we'll follow you so she ends up finding out everything that he's done and she's like sick into her stomach when she goes to find him and lo and behold he gives her the watch when they meet up mind you the journalists are snapping pictures the whole time he's in the restaurant with 
girl B and she said it was sickening how he had this place down to a key like he was legitimately telling these people like these people were legitimately coming up to the table and were like oh my goodness Mr. Le Five, hi it's so nice to see you do you want this this and this like you usually get like they were kissing they were schmoozing him so bad it was insane and she was like you know this is how you know like he's really conned like everyone around him because this place knows him and they love him like that's how good he is at what he does this is the part that gets me when she found out you know what he does and that he's conned many women she said she felt too sick to eat because she was like she doesn't know who's paying for the meal and i was like girl that's so true little does she know girl a 250 grand in debt girl a was paying for her meal honey mm -hmm. paying i even think it said that he spent over the summer with his supermodel girlfriend he spent over forty thousand dollars in one night at a nightclub and everything that they were at yeah that's insane they come out of the restaurant and the journalists are like taking pictures and like for whatever reason he goes from like smiling and laughing to like serious kanye face mode and he's like we gotta get out of here and so like he grabs her and they get in the car and he's like Err! like you know grand theft autoing it around town she's like i gotta play the game because i'm probably gonna die if he knows that i know who he is and she was like oh my gosh are your enemies after me like what's going on and he's like no honey they're after me but don't worry i'll get us out of this and she's like you need to let me out of the car you need to let me out of the car and now she's like they were going over corners and they were running stop signs they were running stoplights they finally stopped the car and they let her out and then er, they skirt skirt off it's him and pitar his bodyguard they skirt off and the journalists were like okay yeah so we was gonna catch him today but like we're genuinely worried for your life so like we're not gonna do that today we're not going to do that at all whatsoever today we'll catch him just not today she ended up being free from that and uh just to kind of tie things up uh that was the last time she ever saw simon and she called him after she got the watch because the watch was fake and she called him and she was like yo the watch is fake and it didn't pay my debt and he starts going off he's like i did my part i did my part ah, da, da, da. like he's super transactional like they're no longer friends like this is a transaction and he's done his end of the deal and like you can just go suck it and she's like i know about the lies like you have to stop doing this to people and he's like okay you want to make an enemy out of me i'll be your enemy da, 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 da. like he it's, it's hilarious honestly i'm not gonna lie and that was pretty much the end of simon and girl b before we move on to girl c girl a and girl b are now working together because the journalist that girl a reached out to are actually working on the story so they're actually working together they're like a sidekick a duo now they've got the story out the story's been going around for a while now and girl c eileen is actually getting ready to hop on a private jet with her boyfriend that she's been with for almost two years and they've gotten pretty serious and eileen is like that's my boyfriend the tender swimmer like what is that <laughs> what and so she like screenshots it and sends it to him and he's like don't look at that that's from my enemies my enemies are coming to get me and that is how they're going to get me because they're going to go through you to get me she didn't believe that this could be fake because it was a major tabloid these journalists were super credible and sh when she started looking at the videos and the messages that were sent and saw that they were the same videos and messages that he would send her she knew that it couldn't just be a lie so she downloaded it to the cloud and when they got on the airplane she was on airplane mode reading that the whole time but like schmoozing with him to make it seem like she didn't care mm -hmm. i want to say she got back home and she ended up having to go visit him again and that's when he was like um i need some money I need you to sell your house sell your car something <laughs> put it up for a mortgage i don't know but i need it i need money and you gotta give it to me 
and that's when she was like okay baby how about you know we sell your designer clothes how about we do that and he was like that's a good idea now mind you before i even go into this 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 is the part that gets me before i even go into her asking to sell his clothes she had already met up with girl a and girl b and the journalist because she was like okay i get y'all want to take him down and this is where I'm going to meet him. But, <laughs> but the only way y'all are taking him down is after I get my money back. I'm getting my money back first. And then after that, y'all can take him. Y'all can just take him. Take him for everything he's worth. But I'm going to get mine first. So that's what she did. And she went to him and she went and she got all three suitcases of his clothes and that was pretty much the end of that she got some money from that i think she only got about 10 grand back from that for his designer clothes and that was that you know um so yeah she didn't get a full you know get back uh with what she put in but she got a little something but now this is my conclusions i applaud girl c but I don't at the same time like I'm sorry you didn't do enough in my opinion you didn't do enough I'm sorry ain't no way I'd be like can I sell your house let's sell your house your house is worth a lot more money let's do that let's get you some money by selling a house because it ain't gonna be my house mm -mm. I'm sorry short this man ended up going to jail because he got caught this is this is the part that sucks he ends up getting caught but he doesn't end up getting caught for you know the right reasons he doesn't end up getting caught for conning these women he gets caught for identity theft not even identity theft <clears throat> faking his identity on a passport goes to jail for five months i think gets out now he owns a business as his own con man oh yeah he is teaching people to do exactly what he does and it's three hundred dollars if you want to take his course. You won't be getting that back. I tell you, he do no refunds. I'm sure. <laughs> no refunds for you <laughs> at all. Wouldn't be surprised if once you put that credit card information in there, he swindle you and get your whole credit card. Don't even know how, but he would do it. He would do it. I drank through this whole video because it was insane. Drank through this whole video because it was that crazy and the more i think about it the more it makes me need to drink and to, to kind of just top things off a little bit i'll say this because i have some concerns <sighs> girl a never saw that flag on fire she never saw that that was a red flag never never did girl b was just trying to help her friend and i'm sorry it just wasn't enough because she still got got and girl c just didn't do enough for me didn't she didn't do enough for me and mind you simon himself uh he kept his name literally he still goes under simon alive he still tells to this day that everybody is lying on him and you want to hear something funny those girls those girls he gone still paying off their debt couldn't be me wouldn't be me shant nada not me i just want to say when i say he's a con i don't mean he's a low level con like thousands i mean he's a top tier businessman con artist who has conned over 10 million dollars out of women alone if simon were to ever portray himself as gay he'd be conning that too he would be conning that too tender swindler just makes me laugh and i'm sorry i'm not trying to be rude and say oh the girls caused it on themselves but like you kind of did. I'm not going to victim shame. I'm not going to do that. I'm not going to victim shame. But uh, come on. 
The first girl said she went after him solely for the lifestyle that he lived, which was completely different than hers. That was your first mistake. Second girl was attracted to the fun she had with him over the summer with the supermodel Russian girlfriend. I don't know where she could have seen the flag besides him asking for money. It's a billionaire, you know. And the third girl, he was able to get a lot over her head for a long time. Two years? That's a long periodically time. And I'm going to be honest with y'all, I've gotten got before. <laughs> yup. They make you, they make it seem like they got it and you be thinking that they really got it because they they make it really seem like they got it and then you get got so i can't feel bad for these women because i didn't even feel bad for myself when i got got i was like yeah you should have known that was way too good to be true and i can proudly say that because i even though i got myself into that situation i also got myself out of that situation so Yep, if y'all ever want a story time on how I got got, <laughs> drop it in the comments below. Drop it in the comments below. Oh, lastly, you guys, this is an honorable mention, but I find it so funny. He tries to get surgery when he was with girl C, Eileen. He tries to get surgery to change his entire look. And the surgeon was like, nope, criminals get that kind of surgery. I won't do it. <laughs> that was so funny. Oh, The surgeon was like, uh-uh, it won't be me. <laughs> you ain't getting me. Because how was the surgeon getting paid? He wasn't going to get paid. Plain and simple. And that was when all them articles came out about him so I'm sure the surgeon probably knew but yeah you guys that is all I have for today that is tinder swindler and honestly I'm gonna rate it 8 out of 10 it's a good watch, but like that should have never happened in the first place. Those girls should have known better some way, somehow, some way, somehow. But I give it an 8 out of 10 only because it's not going to be the ending you want, which is, you know, uh, them getting all their debt paid off and um, him being behind bars because it just don't end like that. It don't happen like that. That boy is still alive today on Tinder today. I think Tinder actually banned him. And then on top of Tinder banning him, I think Instagram just banned him. But he still has his business. He still has another Russian supermodel girlfriend. And he's still with a bunch of expensive cars. And his life looks completely legit now. And last I heard, he is actually getting a TV show for dating. So child if the world ain't flipped over upside down i don't know what is mm. this entire video made me drink this just so you get an idea of how big this is it's pretty huge this is a giant wine glass okay it's a giant and the whole thing is supposed to be a whole wine bottle and i drink half so I drink half of a wine bottle trying to tell this story because it's that crazy. Now, you've heard my viewpoints. You know why. But, <laughs> you know, if you want to see for yourself, go ahead and give it a try. This has been What to Watch Wednesday. Thank you so much for coming. I love you guys. And with all that being said, always remember to stay inspired, break the mold, and be unique. And with all that being said, Mimi love you. Out. What to Watch Wednesday. What to watch with